Number two, a radioactive substance is decaying according to the formula y is equal to a times e to the exponent negative 0.25t, where y is the amount of a material remaining after t years. So again, that's your final amount. t is your time. Determine the half-life of the substance if the initial amount is 200 grams to the nearest hundredth. So the initial amount is always going to be that number out front of the E value. Half-life, remember, is the time it would take for the substance to be cut into half of its original amount. Now, we've already got the K value in here, or the growth rate. It's negative because it's DK, so that would be a decreasing function. If you were to graph this, the graph would go downwards. So we're given that formula already. So let's use that. And we're given our initial amount of 200. So we're gonna plug 200 in as our initial amount. We want time, because we wanna know how long it takes for it to be cut in half. So if this is my original amount, the time it takes for it to be cut in half, my final amount must be 100 grams, so we know that. So even without a starting point amount, I could pick any starting amount and just put half of it here. I could say two grams and make this one gram. So now let's solve. So we're gonna divide off by 200. So this is going to be 0 0.5, which is gonna happen every time in a half-life question. And so you're gonna get E to the negative 0 0.25 T, and now you're gonna solve. You can't get a common base, so you need to use logarithms. Because of the E, you're gonna use natural logarithms. So you get ln of 0.5 is equal to ln e negative 0.25t. And now you're going to want to apply log theorem. So you're going to go ln 0.5 is equal to negative 0.25t ln e. Remember that's going to be equivalent to 1. Now I can divide off my negative 0.25 divided by negative 0 0.25. So T is equal to ln of 0 0.5 divided by negative 0 0.25. And you're gonna put that into your calculator. And once you put that into your calculator, nearest hundredth of a year is two decimal places. So we can just leave it as 2.77 years. Make sure you take the time to read the joke. So here we have our common law because it's base 10 and our pi symbol is quite attracted to the common log and says she's hot. But our good old E value says, yeah, but she's not natural because that would be a natural logarithm preference.